So today we've moved into the uh, the, the warehouse here um, in Comtech headquarters to just take a quick overview of the A141 um, sounder unit. When, when, when this unit ships it, it, it comes in two parts and um, for obvious reasons you, you'll, you kind of get the scale of this. Uh, you can see my hand in here. This is the the sounder part of the A141. So this is what's actually projecting your, your sound out into the community. Generally we install these as community alert systems, um, pharmaceutical plants, survey sites, um, companies or businesses that have a, a, a coma requirement um, to alert the local community when they have um, some sort of emergency on site. So typically it would be um, release of toxic gas, maybe a fire in a, a large scale pharmaceutical plant, this type of thing. Um, so these generally go in and it's to alert the, the community at large or occasionally we've put them in as a wide area sounder within within a, a petrochemical or pharmaceutical plant, so it, it, it's that type of um, scenario. So um, there's there's four 100 watt um, sounder outputs on this, and together those four will generate 141 decibels. And there's somewhere in the region of um, 50 user selectable sounds that you can generate using this, and that's done in the in the control panel. I'll show the control panel in a in a separate video. But, but, but this is um, this is the actual the, the, the horn unit. Each of these horns are on a, 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 a substantial length um, tail lead which runs back to the control unit and each of the horns are individually connected into that control unit. So if, you know, it, it, it's probably unlikely, um, but if for argument's sake you actually found you were generating too much sound into a community, you could in theory disconnect um, one or two or three of these um, horns to re re reduce the the sound level output by just leaving these disconnected so it's it's um it's an option that's there so ju ju just to, to kind of show this it's it's curved to um drive the sound out uh, as best it can so if i turn that you should get a better idea of it um so it's broad and just to give you a scale that's a, a size um 10 shoe in the in in the background there so the whole unit is ip65 rated so um uh, completely weather sealed so you're you're safe outside it's well glanded there and a standard u bracket so you can fit pretty much to to um to anything uh, as per your requirements so that's that's the actual sound part of it it's a uh, it's a bit of a monster it'll take two people to kind of install it or fit it but um and if you are installing it and testing it, uh, hearing protection is absolutely essential because if this goes when you're standing next to it, you will, you will do, um, you'll do damage to yourself. So that's an overview of the A141 um, wide area or disaster warning sounder part of the system. If you need one of these or if you have any technical questions on it, please give me a call in the office. Um, it's brendan uh, at comsec.ie, info at comsec.ie or give us a call. Thanks very much. So what we're going to do is have a, this is the really the, the second video in two, which is an overview of the A141 high level audible warning system. And this is, this particular model is the one with the backup battery. So it's the A141 AC 230 GB. So that's um, gray and B is battery backup. So um, the, the, this is what we're going to have a look at. So in, inside the box with this ships, it, it comes in two parts. It's a big box with the actual horn sounder unit that drives the, the sounder out. And then this is our control module, module, and in with the control module comes your instruction manuals um, for, for this unit and a, a, a key to get you into the box. So we we'll just take a quick look at the outside. So we have our our part code here that tells us um, what's actually in the box and on the bottom of it, um, because this can be uh, um, mounted outside, we have our, our entries on the on, on on the bottom of it here. So we've our, our cable entries for the, the limbs that come off the sounder unit. So if we take a quick look and we open it up and um, we'll just see what layers inside this. So we have um, the battery charger unit here and we have our this is our terminations for our four horn sounder. So it's fairly obvious where, where the, the terminations go into this. So it's it's obviously um, polarity sensitive. We have our drivers out to the, the, the 100 watt sounder units on each individual one and we have the battery backup. So if the power fails, we carry on and we have our, our um, we still have a battery backup here. And these dip switches here we use for selecting the, the different tones. So in the, 
in the, um, the manual here is it gives us a, a full list of the 45 tones and then by setting the different dip switches you can uh, achieve the different sounds that you need. So it's it's pretty neat there, just mounting guide. Um, we can send you these in advance if you if you want to kind of drill grounds and stuff on site for, for what you're putting up. So um, pr pretty straightforward, good solid um, UL listed box there and uh, everything else. Full connection instructions there for your, your sounders to come in and we have the, the, the contactor here for um, stopping and starting. So basically if, if you're just connecting a switch to this it's as simple as close the relay, open the relay and that's your stop start on this. So it's it's really straightforward and then these are very important for doing your dip connections and this is your mains input here. Um, so this, this tells you this and then uh, on this one I'm not sure you can see it too clearly on the video there but hopefully you can. We have um, a charger fault output so if you want to actually monitor the battery charger to make sure that your battery backup is always working you, you have that option there as well. So that's um, just a just a small insight into the actual control unit that goes with the A141. The non-battery backup version is is pretty similar it just obviously doesn't have the batteries and doesn't have the charger and it's a straightforward on or off um, and, and, and that's how that works. So there you go any questions give us a, a call in the office or info at comsec.ie and that's a brief overview of the control box for the A141 wide area sounder.